Hello, everybody, and welcome to our special edition uh, online youth service. I'm so excited that you've joined us today. Uh, we've got a, a great 25 minutes or so lined up. Uh, but first of all, I'm here with my, my good pal, Dan. Hi. Um, now, some of you, you'll probably uh, recognise Dan. He's quite a, quite a famous face around here. Uh, but how are you doing, Dan? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Just woke up, so... Just woke up, so that's... Hey, no shame, no shame, that's okay. <laughs> um, how, yeah, what have, you, what have you been up to? What have you been doing to keep busy during lockdown? Well, actually, funny you should ask. Um, I've been getting more into spicy food, you know? Oh, really? Um, yeah, so eating a chilli every now and then, a bit of hot sauce every sort of hour or so, <laughs> you know? Sorry, hang on, you're... You're, you're just eating chilies uh, and, and hot sauce just, just whenever you fancy. Yeah, yeah, of course. Why, why not? Oh, wow, so you're that macho as in it's not even like with with food. You just, uh, whenever you fancy, just whack a bit of hot sauce out and get it down. You. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it's easy really, isn't it? You know, just a bit of hot sauce, bam, in 30 seconds, done. Just like that. Well, yeah, that's, that's quite a big claim actually that you do that. Do, do you have any hot sauce there with you? Yeah, of course. Like I said, about every hour or so, hot sauce, got my spoon and everything. All oh, right, it's just just your your snack. Do you know what? I think it's quite ideal that you've got it there actually, because I think I think the only way we'll believe you uh, is if you actually just prove it to us by just having a bit of bit of hot sauce now on camera. I mean, it'll be no no problem for you because it's it's your snack, like you said. See, I, I've just woken up, so could be quite dangerous oh no it's like that'll get you going it's like a good good thing to get you going in the morning and it's it's your favorite thing to eat apparently at the minute i i did some before i just came on the school as well so oh but but you just woke up so that doesn't quite you know i'm getting the impression actually dan that you were you were being quite big with your words and potentially slightly over exaggerating how much you like hot sauce uh, right. just just the impression i'm getting okay right i'll do it but only if the people watching do it with me. All right, OK, there we go. There's the challenge, everyone. You've got 20 seconds to grab some hot sauce or a chilli or something from the kitchen, something spicy. Although don't do anything too mental. I don't want to be responsible for any, <laughs> any health incidents. Uh, but yeah, grab your hot sauce. Uh, Dan's got his. Dan's at the ready. He's told us that he just has hot sauce all the time, every hour. So, you know, it, it'll be no problem for Dan, but... Uh, It'll be something interesting for you to do at home. So how are you feeling, Dan? You you ready? Of course I'm ready. You sure? You sound a little bit <laughs> a little bit nervous. Absolutely fine. Really yeah. Not. All right. Okay. Well, you know, off you go. The time's come to uh, put your money where your mouth is. Let's see what you're made of. Oh dear God. <laughs> Here he goes. <laughs> go on, Dan. <laughs> In she goes. Oh! <laughs> that was a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but you, you do it all the time, Dan. Are you crying? Are they tears? <laughs> it doesn't even taste good, let alone the spice. <sighs> I should have said, actually, if you're doing it at home, you probably want a glass of water or something nearby. But, I don't think of that. But it's all right. Dan's hard, so he doesn't need it. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Oh. How are you feeling, Dan? Talk us through it. I can tell I'm going to taste that all day. <laughs> oh. Well, oh. fair play. You have actually done it. You gave it the big one. Um, I get the impression that you may be slightly over-exaggerated how much you... You have hot sauce, but <laughs> judging by Just your reaction. Oh. Uh, but you did actually do it. Fair play. If you've done it at home as well, fair play. Let us know what you've, uh, what you've eaten, what you've consumed. Um, please don't do anything too wild. Uh, but, do you know, what, actually, that theme of... Uh, you're right there, Dan. Do you, do yeah, you, I'm you, fine. No, I'm fine. That's fine. Carry on. You, you on. just die quietly, right? Oh, yeah. Um, but actually, that theme of, you know, of... Uh, actions speaking louder than, than words of, of walking the walk, not just talking the talk. Uh, it's kind of linked to today. So I'm glad you've done that, Dan. Thank you very much. 
Uh, but first, before we dive into all that, we're going to have a little uh, time of worship now. Um, basically, just an opportunity to sing a couple of songs, to thank God, to praise him for who he is, uh, to give him the, the glory that he deserves. Uh, so join in, sing along at home, have a pray. Uh, if you're new to this, just, just watch. That's absolutely fine. Um, and then we'll see you after the worship. Take my heart and soul and God, I'm giving you control I'm handing over everything to you This cross be with me here 
Cause I will trust you and obey I'll follow you, Lord, in every way I want to live for you Living out every word you say I know it's what your heart adores When I lay my life down to follow yours I want to live for you Living out every word you say I will trust you and obey Let every move you make Define the steps I take But you are no trust you and obey. I'll follow you, Lord, in every way. I want to live for you, living out every word you say. I know it's what your heart adores. When I lay my life down to follow yours, I want to live for you, living out every word you say. I will trust you and obey Whatever the cost Whatever the price Whatever the sacrifice I'll go when you call I'll wait trust you and obey and I'll follow you Lord in every way I want to live for you and living out every word you say I know it's what your heart adores when I lay my life down to follow yours I want to live for you living out every word you say trust you and obey I'll follow you in every way so as I uh, hinted at just before the worship uh, this morning we're gonna think just a little bit just a few minutes about Walking the walk, not just talking the talk. The importance of our actions um, and what that, what that looks like for a Christian. Uh, but before we dive into that, I wanted to know what you guys think of when you hear the word Christian. Here's what you had to say. What's the first thing you think of when you hear the word Christian? Having Sunday lunch. One thing I think about Christians is church. First thing I think about when I think of Chris, Christian is the Bible and God and praying. A follower of Jesus. I think a Christian is someone that cares about other people, not because they have to, but because they want to. I think to be a Christian means that you need to put other people, people before yourself. And I think it also means to accept people. I mean, we're all different and 
no one is perfect and Christians aren't perfect so I think to be a Christian means to sort of understand that you know everyone has their flaws but it's to accept them anyway people tend to judge other people because they do something wrong or they make a mistake but a Christian is someone that doesn't care what mistakes you've made and they still accept you and they still love you God Legis Okay, so what does the word Christian uh, mean to me? Well, word association wise, uh, Christian equals sandals. Um, but uh, when I thought about it a little bit more, um, I'd say one word to describe Christian would be brave. One sense the word Christian. Um, nowadays, I mainly think of somebody whose heart is full of love and compassion, um, and that that shows in their eyes. So, David, what's the first thing you think of when you hear the word Christian? The first thing I think of is someone who appreciates God's wisdom and okay. his deeds. Okay, thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much, um, everyone who uh, participated in that. Um, and actually, there were some great things in there. When I when I asked that question, I was kind of expecting people to say like weird and bad fashion sense and things like that. But actually, yeah, some really amazing things in there and particularly about the, uh, this idea of love, which is kind of what I want to talk about this morning. But it got me thinking, um, like, how can you tell someone's a Christian? How can you tell someone's anything? I guess with music, um, you can kind of tell a little bit what, what music someone likes, maybe about how they dress, like you're... Your classic heavy metal fan has probably got their you know, long hair and uh, their big boots and leather jacket, band t-shirt. Maybe that's quite stereotypical, I don't know. But, uh, and grime, uh, your supreme bucket hat, or maybe that's more kind of house. You know, Adidas tracksuit, your um, trap style hoodie maybe. Um, but how do you tell someone's a Christian? <clears throat> well, you might have your own ideas of what a, what a Christian looks like, maybe positive, maybe negative. Um, but actually Jesus uh, gives us a little idea of actually what a Christian really should be known for. Um, now I want to take you to John uh, 13, um, the book of John in the Bible, chapter 13, verses 34 to 35. Uh, and they say, this is Jesus talking to his disciples, uh, and he says, So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. Now, do you see that last bit? Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. That actually, the world sees who a Christian is by their love, not by their, uh, their bad fashion sense, or by their judgment, or even by how many church services they've been to, or how many Bible verses they know, how many youth sessions they've attended. They're all great things, but actually, what marks a Christian out should be their love. For other people um, and it's interesting because we've been thinking on Sunday mornings a little bit about sharing our faith uh, and telling our friends you know that, that we've started going to church or that we that we believe in Jesus that we believe in God and those conversations are so important but actually here's another way of sharing our faith without even saying anything but actually through our actions through loving our friends but what does that love actually look like it's easy to say oh yeah love your friends and that's a very kind of christian thing to say actually but what does it look like <clears throat> well jesus actually um did you notice in the verses he said like as i have loved you you should love other people so how did jesus love his disciples well just a little bit um before those verses um in the passage he uh jesus actually got up and he he went around and he washed his disciples feet so, does that mean we grab our, our bucket of water and head out to our mates' houses and go around washing people's feet? Well, maybe. Um, but that's not a big need in our society today. But what did that mean in Jesus' time for him to wash his disciples' feet? Well, it was, it was a need in that time. Their feet would have been dirty. Uh, it was dusty. They had open sandals, no, no socks and sliders in those days. Um, and so actually they needed their feet washing, but no one wanted to do that job. That was the job of the, the servant, the lowest of the low. But Jesus did it. And actually, more than just meeting the need and doing the job of the lowest person, he was saying to his disciples, look, I love you, I respect you, I value you so much that I'm willing to do the dirty work, to wash your feet. So what, how can we do that in our context? How can we um, 
meet the needs, do the dirty work that people don't want to do, and show people that they're loved, respected, and valued. Maybe it's that, that one guy at school that everyone, no one wants to be seen with, everyone talks down about. Maybe it's actually sticking up for him or just going over to him, risking your reputation to be seen with him and just see how he's doing. Or, well, actually, we're not actually seeing our mates very much at the minute. Our families, we are seeing a lot. Maybe it's just helping your mum out by taking the bin out or doing the washing up, just the little things. Um, because actually, our actions speak louder than our words. If you think about Dan at the beginning, he was talking a lot about, you know, hot sauce and, yeah, how he just ate hot sauce all the time. But until I saw it, I wasn't going to believe it. And actually, having seen him eat hot sauce, I don't think he'd ever tried that before in his life. Let's not be like Dan, all right? Let's live out our faith. <clears throat> because as Jesus says, the world will know that you're a Christian through your love for other people, not for anything else. Let's not be known for anything else, but our love for other people. So I want to uh, pray to finish. Uh, if you want to join in at home where you are, just talk to God. That'd be amazing. Thank you, Father, um, for each young person watching uh, this morning. Um, Thank you, Jesus, for your example and, yeah, for this call to love other people. That Actually, that's how uh, we should be known, for our love for other people. I pray that you'd help us to, uh, to serve, to meet the needs around us and to bless the people around us. And I pray that we would all be known uh, for our love for other people. Amen. Thank you so much. Uh, for joining this morning. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been encouraging for you. Uh, don't forget we're on Zoom at 10.45. Uh, it'll just be games, fun, a uh, chance to just have a laugh together. Um, so we'll see you there.